Watery world. Have you ever been to a rocky beach? Sometimes there are small areas of water on the shore. If you peek in, what do you see? A little ocean world in a tide pool. Tide is the rising and falling of the sea level, usually two times a day. At high tide, the sea is at its highest level. Most of the shore is covered with water. As waves roll in, they may crash against the shore. This is Mont Saint Michael in France at high tide. At low tide, the sea is at its lowest level. The waves don't reach as high as on the shore. The water is farther out than it was at high tide. This is the same place we saw before. At low tide, some water from the high tide gets left behind. The water stays in low spots. These are called tide pools. Many animals and seaweeds live in a tide pool. It's a great place to live. Waves bring new food every day. Lots of sun helps seaweeds to grow. There's crabs, limpet, sea urchins, spider conch, sea stars, and seaweeds. Seaweeds are living things found in water that look like plants, but do not have stems, roots, or leaves. Some crazy looking critters live in tide pools. Many are colorful and some are spiky. A few have long arms and others have frills. These animals can be easy to spot. Sea slugs, sea stars, sea anemone, and chitin. Other animals are hard to spot. This keeps them safe from being eaten. Some don't even look like animals, but they are. Mussels and barn barnacles cling to rocks. This sculpin fish blends in with what's around it. These mussels and barnacles cling to the rocks. Six cool facts about tide pool animals. One, a giant green sea anemone swallows its prey whole. Two, a male sea spider cares for his young. He holds the eggs safely within his legs. An octopus can travel over land. It may leave a tide pool to search for food. Four, a sea cucumber has two feet around its mouth. It, ache, it catches food with its feet. Five, an abalone is a large snail. It breathes through the row of holes in its shell. Six, a hermit crab has five pairs of legs. Its two back pairs grip the shell on the inside. Prey is an animal that is eaten by another animal. A tide pool is always changing. Water flows out. The sun warms the tide pool. It may dry out. Then new cool water rushes in. Living things must be strong to survive here. Survive means to stay alive. One danger is how the water moves. It rushes in and out. It can wash away living things so they need to stick to the rocks. Lots of seaweeds have anchors that hold them in place, and many animals grip with sticky tube feet. Other living things have threads. Threads on a mussel keep it in place so it won't wash away. The anchors on this seaweed grip the rock. Drying out is another danger, so plants and animals have ways to stay wet. Lots of animals close their shells or their bodies. This keeps water inside. Others stay wet by hiding under seaweeds. A sea snail can pull its body inside its shell, and a, mu a mussel closes its shell. Underwater, a greasy anemone opens to stretch out its tentacles. Out of water, the anemone's tentacles roll up inside its body. A sea star's body helps it survive. Here's how. Spiny skin protects the sea star from harm. Eye spots at the tip of each arm sense light they help them, that helps them find food. Tube feet on its underside act like suckers. They help the sea star to eat, move, and stay in one place. A mouth is used to eat, of course, but this one is not like yours. A sea star's stomach pushes out of its mouth. Its stomach enters the shell of another animal to eat it. Arms can be open the shell can arms can open the shells of mussels and clams. Sea stars eat the insides. An arm can grow back if it gets cut off. Tide pools all over. 
you'll find tide pools all over the world. They are in cool areas and warm areas. The plants and animals in them can be different, but many are the same. Tide pools are great places to explore. These pictures show close-up views of different things. Let's use hints to figure out what's in the pictures. These help an animal stick to the rocks. Hmm, that kind of looks like a starfish, which we just found out has tube feet. Two, these may crash against the shore. I'm sure you know this, it's a wave. Three, animals hide under these to stay wet. Hmm. Well, we know that this looks like seaweed, and we know that animals do hide under seaweeds to stay wet, so I think it's seaweed. Four, this animal can grow back an arm if it gets cut off. <gasps> we just learned that that's a starfish. Five, it has five pairs of legs. That looks like a crab. These animals cling to rocks. Those look like barnacles. Prey, as we learned, is an animal that is eaten by another animal. Seaweeds are living things found in water that look like plants, but do not have stems, roots, or leaves. Survive means to stay alive.